Right, so here today we've got a bedroom. We're carrying on with this rewire. This is the next room where we're going to carry on and get done. So we've got the, ri the ring main. Oh, not ring main, it's a radial, four wheel radial. What I pulled up is ready to come into this room to do these sockets. And then the lighting from that other bedroom as well, which is ready to come over, which is in the loft, which will be nice and easy. But first things first, everything's going in new positions. So we've got to rip that out. Beautifully done. I don't know why it's done like that, but it is. These, this, two wall like things we've got to rip out. The sockets, just get rid of it all to start with. Basically so we can start fresh. So let's start with that. Killing it, making it dead, so we can take it all out. Right, so we're getting there. We've ripped all this out. Basically that was off the sockets. We'll leave the lights on for a bit so we've got a bit of light, but we're gonna start, uh, what are we gonna start doing? We're gonna start pulling the cables into the positions where we want them, where we've marked on the wall with a double cross to get the cables in, to get some floorboards down and then do the chases. But we've got rid of that socket over there. We've just joined the ring mains, temporary, because in an old house, they don't just feed upstairs they feed downstairs as well so we've got to keep the downstairs going while we do it bit by bit so this is the plan we've got our four mil radial coming out there which will go to a socket on the landing and then follow through to the bedroom sockets <sighs> there's a bit of stuff in the way eh? here's what it is and we will make do as we go around so let's carry on Right, for these two sockets down here, they're gonna be USB. So we have to set the chaser at a depth, ugh, a depth of 40, 40, because I wanna get them nice and deep. It says 40, but I wanna get a 35 mil box in. So, oh, it's a bit of a nightmare, this stuff. So yeah, let's get it, get it nice and deep, basically, so we can get a decent 35 mil box in. Uh, and then 20, 25 mil chases down to the floor. Enough to get a bit of capping in with the cable. So let's do these. perfectly in there for that 25 mil box uh, 35 mil box to be skimmed over and it'll fit perfectly there's plenty of space in there to move around to get level as well that's why I'm doing two of these and then moving all the stuff around because yeah it is a bit dusty so then now I need to get that to there I might have to take these boards up, but I'm going to try it with this first to save me having to take them up. So let's see, because this has got a bend on it, and this is the super, oh, is it super tongue? It's some super rod anyway. So I'm going to push it down there, and hopefully, in theory, it should come out the other end. If, oh, I know, it should be right. Ah, 
it was worth a try, wasn't it? Then up then. There you go. Keep trying and you'll get it eventually. Now I want to just get these two cables in to that socket. Then I can second, well, yeah, second fix and everything these and get the kit all in the room over in this corner is my plan. Right, so if I can just... Right. Voila! That is a super rod cable tongue. Saves the day again. Yeah, he's long enough, nice. All right, so we've got all that in. Yeah, I smashed that bit of cap in, but it still holds the cable in place, so I'm not fussed about that. Tied them all in for the plasterer, so he can skim over, makes it easier for him. And that one's in as well. They're both 35 mil boxes, because these two are gonna be either side of the bed. So they're gonna have USB in. And now I'm gonna mooch over to the other side, lift these floorboards up, and do these two. We're on half 11. So we're getting there, we're not even too bad. I would say it's a cup of tea time, but... Right, let's get cracking. If I come back up, I'll say, let's have a cup of tea. Other than that, let's keep going. And I think I would like to go over here to get this board up, but there is a board just here that joins. So, I'm going to try and get this one up here because it's already been up. Oh, up that way, maybe. As well. All I'm going to do all the way along here is just to get that here yeah, to that one, so I need that one out as well. Which they ain't been up for a while, but we can get them in. Let's get this out of the way. to hold the camera and drill at the same time so you're gonna have to trust me how to drill the holes so as if by magic for you not for flipping me um, I've got the sockets in I did them as 35 mil as well just because that's what I picked out the box down here I've got a load of 35 25 singles doubles and there were some spares loose 35s so I thought stuff it, rather than setting the chaser onto 25, I just did 35 mil boxes as well. 
So them ones are in, these ones are in, all the sockets are in. And I even got this one in the hallway down here in this stupid little bit, but I did put that in a 25 mil box because the chaser wouldn't go in it. That was hard, so I thought, right, well, that's definitely getting a 25 mil box. Oh, sugar. So now all we need to do is get rid of that two-way switch that is over the bed, uh, the centre light, and these bits that are in here, and the switch. Basically, one more chase, down for the light switch, get that in, get out of here. Right, so they're off, and we've got to whip these out. Right, so that's that off. I don't know why they didn't go over the ceiling rows, maybe they didn't have any way goes. But let's get rid of these fancy lights. Look at that. Oh, flipping house. Back in the day when people used to wallpaper the ceiling. That'll come back sooner or later, you watch. Right. Yeah, bit pants. We put this down here with them lights. I don't want that. Uh, look at this old ceiling row, it's a little bit different. And that's confusing because on that one they've used the yellow as a common and on this one they've used the yellow as the earth. Or I bet that's common. Oh man. Surely you would have used it. The earth in the cable. This out, this out. Just get them all off. Because I think that I've got to join it because it will carry on the lighting circuit for that last bedroom. So I'm gonna pull the switches out where it comes into here and then goes over to that two-way switch just to temporarily keep it on for that last bedroom. But obviously you've got to get it off the ceiling starters. And hopefully use that cable as a draw wire, possibly. Hmm, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So what have we got in here? We've got, basically, it's been wired in flipping three core. I don't know what's what. One's gonna be a switch, one's gonna be the main live and neutral, and the other one's gonna be something else. Right, let's figure this one out. How people wire things back in the day? It just, I suppose they just wire it, it works, so they leave it. Which, in effect, it works, it works. But they do decide to chop the earths out as well. Let's have a look if they've used earths in here. Nope. Look at that, just chop the earth out. What is the point? But it's got two. Oh. So they've got the live coming in, and that's the switch live, and that's your two way. So the permanent live switch live, yeah. I've wired it a bit funky. But. Oh. He had a good drum of that, didn't he? So then, is that the live and neutral one going over there? Yep. Get that out. Not needed. Because I'm just concerned that there's a joint box in here somewhere. Is that the three-way? I don't think so. No. Ah, oh, so I have to bite the bullet and get into the loft because I think some of these cables are clipped. But I was told that you can get from this loft to the other loft now. One way to find out. Oh, look at that hole. Uh, it's a bit funky. But yeah. 
You can get through now. What's in there? I've just got to pull these cables up and I thought they are. Right, so let's... What the flip? Oh yeah, that's them too. You can get through to there. That obviously doesn't want to be here anymore. But we don't know where that goes. That, where's that come from? That one. That was joined to something. Well, that one can just come out. Look, doesn't go anywhere. Flipping felted roof. Look at all the stuff up here. Oh, mate. Up the night, I'm doing all that. So I'm just going to pull them out. And that is first fix done for these sockets for now. We've got them all under here. That is just going to be a draw wire. That's still one of that three core stupid cables hanging. Here. So I'm using it as a draw wire because I couldn't be asked to run around in the loft. Just got the light switch in there, the 25 mil box, in case there's a dimmer going in, and straight up for your live and neutral so stay tuned and more than likely you'll see the second fix of how that goes on thanks for watching and if you've got any tips that you think ben you could have done it like this it would have been better let me know i'm always open to tips i think i know everything until someone tells me a better way so tell me a better way